Hi students, at this point in time, you are at lesson number 2, Electrical Supplies and Materials. Under Module 1, Prepare Electrical Supplies and Materials and Tools. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to Number 1, Define Electrical Supplies and Materials. 2, Identify the different electrical supplies and materials. And number 3, Describe the use of the electrical supplies and materials. Good luck! In this activity, you are going to watch a video clip of a presenter performing electrical installation. The challenge is, you have to identify as many electrical tools and materials as you can. Jot down your answers in a scratch paper. You have 30 seconds to read your paper. Hi, good morning. I'm Atari Mendoza of Buena Vista National High School. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to install a lighting fixture. The first step is to prepare the necessary materials in installing lighting fixtures. Second is locate the power source and turn, on it, turn it off to secure the safety. The second step is you need to install the wiring into the wiring weights. Connect the hot wire to the source power using big tape. And tighten it using Phillips screwdriver. Check the continuity of the connection. Isolate the wires for safety purposes. Mount the lamp to the lamp receptacle. Check the lighting fixtures if it is functioning by using turning on the switch. These are the electrical tools and materials present in the video. What are the tools and materials that you got right? Lesson 2 will focus on the different electrical materials essential in EIM. So you have to guess the tool presented in the puzzle picture. You have to use the given clues below the picture to answer each item. First item, the clue is, it is an equipment used to make holes on metal sheets. So what is this tool? Three, two, and one. So the answer is... Electric drill. Second item, the clue is it is a tool used to drive screws with hexagonal head slot. What is this tool? All right, the answer is Allen wrench. Third item, the clue is. It is a tool used to remove insulation of wires and cables. What is this tool? Electrician's knife. Did you get it? Our fourth item, or the last item that we have, the clue is, it is a tool used to remove insulation of wires and cables. What is this tool? It is used to remove the insulation or the covering the skin of wires and cables. Three, two, and one. The answer is wire stripper. Always remember, students, that we have five tools that we can use in removing the skin of the cables or wires. Uh, we have the first three are the three types of uh, pliers. The first one is the combination pliers, second side cutting pliers, and we also have, or we can also use the long nose pliers if they have um, cotter in it. Then we have, we have here the wire stripper, and the last one is the electrician's knife. 
I will be discussing about the uses of the different electrical supplies and materials. You already know that electrical supplies is basically the parts or elements used in the making of any electrical construction project, just like in this shift. There are five electrical materials present in here, so let's identify those in the next slide. Let's identify those electrical materials. The first one, we have lamp. Second, lamp holder. Third, flat cord. Fourth, nail plug. And the last one is convenience outlet. Now, let's talk about their use and function. The first one is lamp. So, you already know what lamp is. It is also called as bulb. The next one is lamp holder. Lamp holder is also called as lamp socket or receptacle. It is used to hold and protect the lamp. From the word itself, holder, from the root word hold, meaning it holds the lamp in place. Next one is flat cord. Flat cord is a duplex stranded wire for temporary wiring installation. If you want to assemble extension cord, you will be needing a flat cord. Other than flat cord, you can also use or you have to use convenience outlet and mail plug in extension cord assembly. So what are these two? First is convenience outlet. Convenience outlet is where the mail plug of an appliance is inserted. But why? What is mail plug? Mail plug is inserted in convenience outlet to conduct electric current. So those are the five examples of electrical materials. But there are a lot more that we have to discuss. So let's proceed to the next slide. We have here a video presentation wherein you can see and watch the function and use of the different electrical materials that we have. First that has been shown in the video is the circuit breaker. Next is the electric wire or conductor that is being inserted in the conduits or pipes. The conduits or pipes are held by connectors. And now you can see the junction. It is in octagonal shape. And utility box, which is in rectangular shape. These two are almost the same in function and use, but there's still a difference. Later on, we'll be discussing their difference. The electrician is now holding a wire and a switch. Which he is going to attach in the utility box. While the lamp holder will be attached to the junction. And now, he is using electrical tape. Electrical tape is used to provide insulation on the exposed conductor or wire. Now, he is mounting lamp in the lamp holder. And the last one is the switch. Alright, so let's talk about the use and function. The first one is circuit breaker. Circuit breaker blows and cuts the current when trouble in a circuit occurs or when there has been a short circuit. There is another material which is or which has the same, almost the same um, use and function with this material and that is fuse. When we say fuse, it also blows and cuts the current when trouble in the cir circuit occurs or what we call short circuit. But the difference with circuit breaker is the circuit breaker, when it has served its purpose, it can be reset. And you can use it again. But the fuse, when it has stopped or blows or cuts the current when there is trouble or short circuit, you cannot use it, use it again. You have to replace it with new one. Alright? So that is the difference. So next we have we have here electric wire or conductor. Electric wire or conductor. It allows electrical current to flow through it. Electrical wire and conductor is inserted into the conduits or pipes because conduits and pipes serves as insulation to protect the wires. And conduits and pipes are 
Connected with the use of connectors. They are used to attach conduits to the junction or utility boxes. And lastly, we have the clamps. The clamps hold and anchor electrical conduits to its proper position. The next material is junction box. Junction box, as you have observed in the video, is in octagonal shape. It is where the connections or joints of wires are being done. And also, uh, it is where the lamp holder is attached so that the wirings behind the lamp holder can be protected inside the junction box. There is another material that has almost the same function and use as this junction box and that is called utility box. Utility box is in rectangular shape where flash type convenience outlet and switch are attached. So they have the same function and use. They are used to protect the wires, the connection of wires in the wiring installation. Next, let's talk about switch that is the last one switch connects and disconnects the flow of electric current in the circuit when you switch it on it connects the flow of electric current when you switch it off it disconnects accomplish this crossword puzzle ready let's start number one it is where the flash type lamp holder is attached what is the answer the answer is junction box. Number two, allows electrical current to flow through it. What is the answer? The answer is conductor. Number three, a device inserted to a convenience outlet to conduct electric current. What is the answer? The answer is near plug. Number four, connects and disconnects flow of electricity. What is the answer? The answer is switch. And the last item, protective device that blows and cut the current when short circuit happens. The answer is right. Use. We did it! Congratulations! Let's have activity number two. Directions. Answer the questions in complete sentence or sentences. Write the answers in your notebook. Number one. What is the difference between electrical tools and materials? Number two. List on five electrical materials that you can find at home that give their function. And number three. Choose one material that you want to know more about. Explain why. Pause the video to answer, then play it again when you're ready for check. Check your answers now. Tools are handheld devices while materials are the parts or elements used in making of any electrical construction project. The answers in items 2 and 3 may vary. Can you now define electrical supplies and materials? Do this activity. Choose five words from the word pool below. Make a complete sentence out of the words that you have chosen to define electrical supplies and materials. You can pause the video if you need more time to answer.
on high 26.24% and machines or equipment being the top three garnering 93.18%. What do you think is the reason why the majority of occupational injuries in construction industry are caused by this three? How can the workers protect themselves from the harm caused by hand tools, materials, and equipment? <laughs>